earliest memory of art would probably be third grade. Um, I can't really remember how much that, like age-wise that'd be, like that's like nine or 10 or whatever. I did like a comic of my dog at the time. His name was Buddy, so Buddy went through different adventures. And that's really the earliest memory I have where I actually did a project that was centered around something artistically. So I think that's like the earliest memory. That's really kind of how I got started and then just started cycloning from there. Sketching in middle school, sketching in high school, taking a couple college classes and just, it's always been a habit of mine, even outside of, you know, uh, academics. Well, ever since like even high school, I thought about like, hey, I'll have my own space where I can do work and then I'll have my own living space where I can just relax. So it was always uh, intention of the dream. It was like one little step within that dream of being an artist. I just put it on the back burner. If you want water, I think I got like two cold ones left. Usually I use it for my coffee because I drink it black and it just makes it less, uh, less hot temperature wise. Cause I'll burn the fuck out my tongue if, uh, if I just drink it. I don't have self-control, so when I drink coffee, it fucking burns my tongue when I just take it right out of the pot, so I know that's not smart, but there. So I'm gonna just do like a quick background. I already kind of sketched around the, the gator. So I kind of know where I wanted them. And I found the wood by a dumpster by my uh, apartment complex the other day. So. At this point, it's like whatever comes to me. I usually get corners too, it just makes it look more complete. What got me to do art more seriously was uh, my grandmother passing earlier this year and it gave me perspective on what I was doing in life and understanding that the dreams that I kind of put on the back burner are always going to stay there unless I proactively do them and there's a certain level of regret that she was always supportive of art or my me doing art and I didn't really take enough advantage of that especially when I had a lot of support and I didn't really apply myself. So it was just kind of a hard lesson to learn in life where it's like, well, shit, she passed away. And right before I even got this studio, but I wouldn't have gotten the studio if I wasn't, if, it didn't, if I didn't build more discipline through that experience. So it's bittersweet in a lot of ways. My styles kind of evolved from different things. There's folk art. It's pretty inspired by that and like outsider art. So just off the wall stuff, unconventional styles, not really contemporary, not really hoity-toity, like I'm gonna just paint something hyper-realistic or anything. I'm more notoriously known for being K and K, so I make gators. Initially, I, that's what I initially started out doing, and I just kind of transformed and did other stuff on top of that. Chickens, uh, pop culture references, uh, aliens, all that good stuff, so just wild. Uh, wild characters, poppy and colorful. So I actually have a, like a kalimba, it's a Cayman kalimba. It's actually right over there. I don't really know how to play a kalimba, it's just cool. So yeah. Least favorite gator is like a pink gator I made a long time ago, but I don't have it. Somebody bought it, I think. I'll have like I'll use the I'll do like an outline and marker. I just kind of get the rough colors together. So the piece is pretty rendered, and then I go in with like a marker. It doesn't really matter. I find them anywhere. These are just old work markers from like when I was working in Springfield, and I still have them. So I'm a marker thief as well as a pen thief. So. Tennessee Till they stole my car Hoping for a chance to meet Alligator girl, the electric
the reason for the gators is uh, it's an homage to my grandmother, just because, and I even have a tattoo of the Cayman K or Cayman Gator, because uh, she used to say, see you later alligator after wild crocodile. And it was always a fond memory because that's always how my encounters ended with her. So it was just an homage. And then the name just kind of, it kind of gives me that responsibility to maintain creativity that I've always had. Yeah. It's just to maintain a state of mind of being fun and carefree, kind of like how it was when I was still with her. The meaning of my art to myself is to be carefree and just not take life too seriously. Cause I can be robotic at times to where I'm kind of a, like I'm closed in. So it's just an opportunity for me to kind of reach out to other people and just, you know, again, kind of open that opportunity to be more social with other people and just not only know their stories, but they're intrigued with my art and it just creates a dialogue to where I'm more connected with people around me. Even if I don't know them that well, I still am able to build rapport in human interactions. So to me, it's really to kind of open a door to be more social with people. If I was to take any experience from that, you know, from what I'm doing. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be at like Warhol or Basquiat level. I'm not gonna also say I'm not gonna do that because there's, there's that possibility of happening. There's always a possibility. It depends on how far I wanna take it. Uh, I wanna go as far as I can. So if I can even exceed that level, sure, I'll, I'm, willing to, I'm willing to go to that extent. But as of right now, I'm just, I'm on that slow and steady path. Till they stole my car Hoping for a chance to meet Alligator girl, the electric guitar